Just a quick reminder guys, this channel update is best enjoyed with headphones on. With all of this aside, please enjoy the video. And what is everyone's bar commander 1990 Chief Editor to Silly Game Reviews here, coming here with a channel update, giving you guys the inside scoop on what's going on on the channel over the next couple of months. So first off, the nitty gritty stuff. Okay, first off, a quick health update. Well guys, just over a month or two until the neurologist appointment, it's happened. While on my way to work, I felt a seizure coming on. Luckily enough, I was been able to sit on a bench and wait for the seizure to pass. However, when I regained to my feet, my legs gave way and my head hit the pavement. Unfortunately, my DS lights got broken at that time. I was also taken to the hospital to check if there's any additional due to the fall. However, six days after the seizure itself, a certain Sega Amusement Europe contacted me, allowing me to purchase this item, a Tails 9 plush from Sonic Prime. Okay then, would you like to introduce yourself to viewers on the channel? Hey everyone, my name is Miles Power. From everyone else, just call me 9. So, after six months of hunting, my little plush hunt turned out to be a massive success. And thanks to this little creature comfort, my stress levels are well below the danger zone. After hearing about my seizure, a few friends of mine decided to put a little money together to purchase this item as well, a replacement Nintendo DS Lite. So massive shout out to Ted, Alex and Nathan for doing this, thus saving GBA game reviews. So again, I seriously cannot thank you three enough. Right, with the health update out of the way, it's time to move on to what's going on in the review set of the channel. Well, in terms of the review set of the channel, the two big reviews coming up in the next couple of weeks are still on course. At data scripting, Sonic X Shadow Generations will be available to download and play for deluxe edition owners such as myself. So I will be hoping to post a review of that game on its launch week. Or even better, a day one review. Also, the next big review, which I teased in my previous channel update, will begin immediately after the Sonic X Generations review will be posted. Well, no rest for the wicked, I guess. In case you guys have missed it, here is that teaser again. Thank you. 
So after which I'll be going through the odd review or two before the end of the year. But obviously my main focus will be once again the Let's Play side of the channel. Speaking of which, here is my new little buddy Nine, who's going to be giving an update on what's going on in the Let's Play side of the channel. Okay Nine, it's over to you. In terms of the Let's Play side of the channel, his current Let's Play of Half-Life 2 Episode 2 will hopefully be completed by the end of the month. He's very close to the end of the game, after which his quest for to complete every single Valve Half-Life game will be indefinitely suspended. However, another Let's Play project will also will be taking place to fill the gap in time between the completion of this project and the start date of the Let's Play of Half-Life Alex with the no VR mod. Without further ado, let us roll the trailer. So shout out to Rhinox, Gooby, and other viewers from Sweden for the suggestion of Max Payne 2. Now, here's James to getting into the specifics as to how this Let's Play project is going to work. Again guys, this playthrough will be like New York Minute difficulty on steroids. I have until the start date of the Australian Open to finish off both Half-Life 2 Episode 2 and finish Max Payne 2. Should I fail to do so, I have to review a tennis game on the opening day of all four major tournaments in 2025. Alrighty then, this is more or less everything I want to cover in this channel update. It is best for us to sign off. So, this is Sparta Commander 1990 and Tails9 signing off, so we'll see you guys in the next review.